Yeah. Okay. First of all, thank you for talking to us. Yeah. And uh, how was your meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi? And what uh, big points were discussed uh, during your interaction? Well, I had a very good meeting with the Prime Minister. Uh, I told him that Blackstone uh, had already invested 60 billion U.S. dollars in assets in India, and over the next five years, we're planning another 40 billion dollars of assets for one of the 10 largest companies in India. So he expressed his appreciation and talked about the new programs that were going on, including selling assets for the country, uh, which I told him I thought was a very good idea because he could take the money from those sales of assets and reinvest it in the country to create jobs for the people of India. The National Asset Monetization Plan. Uh, how do you look at this plan in creating jobs, uh, in garnering revenues? Do you think this will bolster investment uh, back there in India as well? Uh, absolutely. Uh, it's an excellent idea. There are some other countries that have done things like that, like Australia, that have used that to, to build more infrastructure to make their country better. So I think it's an excellent idea. Okay. And India is also looking for, you know, a massive investment in infrastructure sector as well. What are your future plans as far as investment in infrastructure in India? Well, I, I, I think it has to have a rule of law and you have to have things happen pretty quickly uh, because infrastructure programs take a long time. Uh, some countries, like the United States, it takes 12 years to approve projects. Some countries, like Canada and Germany, it takes two years. So I, I would say that being on the shorter end of that is the best. Uh, how well, is your experience so far? Because you have heavily invested in India. So how has we, your experience been as far as your investments in India are concerned? Our, India has been Blackstone's best market for investment in the world. I know that sounds sort of remarkable, but it is. Uh, we have a terrific team there in both our corporate investments and our real estate investments. The country is the fastest growing country now in the world. Uh, and so we're very optimistic. We've done great. Uh, and we're proud uh, of what we've done in, in, in India. Uh, various reforms have been undertaken in India under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. How do you look at, uh, at this leadership, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, as far as reforms in India are concerned, structural reforms primarily? How do you look at it? Well, I, I'd say that this is a very friendly government for outsiders like ourselves to be dealing with. They're very smart. Uh, they're very reform-oriented. Uh, they're objective. Uh, what can be done? Uh, how quickly can it be done? How sensible is it? Is it a benefit to India and benefit to outsiders? So I would give them an extremely high grade uh, as being good partners for people who'd like to bring capital into the country to create jobs. Thank you so much for talking to us, sir.